This is the third of three videos for the axe throwing exercise that's found in Chapter 8 of the Introducing Autodesk Maya book series. In this video, we're going to add secondary motion into the system so it looks like the momentum of the axe is being transferred into knock back the target. Now, if I go ahead and select the, the target and I move it back, you'll see that it separates away from the axe. So what I want to do is I want to take a look at the hierarchy of my scene. Here's my axe and here's my target. This is the hypergraph and similar to the outliner, it gives us a view of the objects in our scene but in a more graphical view. So we've used the outliner before in this exercise, now we're going to use the hypergraph. Now what I want to do is I want to be able to keep the axe and the target together. So with the middle mouse button I'm going to drag the axe node over to the target node and that will group the axe under the target. Which is good because if I move the target back it goes with the axe as well. If I scrub my animation, because I have animation on the axe, it gets all completely weird and janky. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press Z to undo that grouping. We'll see that the animation is back to normal. What I need to do is I need to reset or freeze transformations on the target so that it doesn't have pre-existing numbers. To do that, I'll make sure I have the target node selected. I'll go to Modify Freeze Transformations. Now watch the channel box as I click on Freeze Transformations and you'll see that the translate X and Y values have reset to zero. The target hasn't moved and nothing's really changed. As you can see my animation is still there. But now if I go ahead and middle mouse button drag the axe node on top of the target node, I'll get the same grouping as I had before, but because I've freeze transformations on the target node, my animation on the axe is intact. Now at frame 25 is when the axe first makes an impact on our target. I need to select, there we go, there's the uh, selection handle has moved over here for some reason. At 25 is where the axe impacts and I'll set position and rotation keyframes on my target which now includes the axe in here. But again the animation of the axe is intact and there's nothing to worry about. At frame 28 I'm going to go ahead and rotate my target up a little bit and I'm going to move it back ever so slightly. Again, I'm going to do this in the world axis by holding down the W key and then left clicking and selecting world to set my world axis and I'll move it back a little bit in the world X. And there you go. You can see some momentum and weight transferring from the axe into my target. I'll go to frame 31 and I'm going to bring my rotation back to zero. I can continue to move it back ever so slightly if I so choose. Now you can see the animation is playing back really, really fast. If I go into the animation preferences, I can go ahead and tell the playback speed to be real-time max playback at 24 or 30 if you already have it set to 30 as uh, I believe I have in the book. You can see that we have uh, the at least the beginnings of the momentum transfer animation we were hoping for. And now from here, all you need to do is just tweak some of the keyframes and some of the curves as 
as you see fit. But that brings us to the end of the axe throwing exercise. Take care.